In our previous video, we looked at inserting an image into our document. So you'll remember at the end, I dragged this one. So rather than actually use some of the features in insert image and go and do those type of things, I just went to the internet and dragged the file directly in. What we're going to do now is look at editing this. So what I can do to start with, as soon as I click on here, you'll notice over to the side here, so up in the top right, there'll be some um, menu items pop up. So as soon as I click it, there they are, they've popped up now. If you want to access those also, you can right click and you'll get the same options available to you. So um, either way, so right click on the image or the menu options for an image will appear over here. So we're just going to go into that image. I'll just move him back up to the top of the page. So I click on there. The first one I'm going to do is just resize it. So I don't need to do anything fancy. I'll just come down to this bottom corner I'm just going to drag it up so it's a little bit smaller and we can see the features in one place at one time. I'll just make that slightly larger um, so you can see it a little bit clearer. At the very bottom of there, there's some options here about the thing. So we've probably um, experienced text wrapping before. So rather than having the text um, covered by the image, if we do wrap text, now I can move that wherever I like. I'm not sure why they don't actually have this as the default because most people would want that. You can adjust the margin. So in other words, how close will the text get to my um, picture of my galah or not? Um, a, a really handy thing to do. And I'm going to show you at the end of this video how that might work with some text. The other features we can use is cropping. So once I've got it a little bit smaller, cropping just allows us to chop out stuff around it. So if I grab the the side there and the top there. I'm just wanting to get rid of a little bit of this um, sort of dead space around it. To get this to actually crop, I just go back and re-hit on the crop button. So you'll notice it's sort of indented a little bit um, and we've done that. I can reset that thing so it will resize it back to its sort of original shape. So you'll notice that that dead space is there. If you're not happy with it, again undo and we're back to where we want to be. Um, some of the more advanced features, I can recolor the bird if I want to. So by doing that, I can select those um, various features. I'm not going to do that because I actually prefer the, the natural colors of the bird. Okay, so we'll leave that alone. You can adjust the transparency. So transparency is just imagine um, things like shade cloth come in different thicknesses. So some are allowing more light or less light to come through. And if you want it to fade right out, you can take it right up to the high end. But again, we can do that. You can play around with your contrast and brightness. Again, depending on your circumstances, you'll play around with those. So they're the extra options. I can, of course, if I want to replace that image. So let's say you've got it all set up and your document sitting nicely. And here's the image amongst the text and then all of a sudden you say well I don't really like that image I'm sure I can find a better photo of a galah or whatever image you have you can hit on replace image and go and get it I'm now just going to show you very quickly how we would put an image into a document so you will remember from an earlier video we had this one um, about Australia as the document I'm just going to grab that exact same picture so just a reminder from before I grabbed the image drag it to the document I'm interested in and let it go and it will pop in there. So again we haven't done any formatting to this thing so I'm going to make it a little bit smaller so it doesn't take up such a massive space. At the moment it's in inline so wherever it sits it's going to just jam in the middle there. I would recommend you hit text wrap or wrap text sorry and now wherever I move this thing around the text is automatically going to adjust itself just as a as a matter for readability for your readers and people reading um, working on your document putting something right in the middle of text is very difficult to read so we're actually reading as of december 2014 australia's population is roughly 23.6 million people so jumping across an image is really frustrating for readers so i would recommend either putting it at the very start so I'll just move it down so my heading remains or putting it at the very end. You will notice that it will align it right down the end. So that little red line will appear automatically. I let it go and I know that I'm right on the edge of my document. 
and that allows us to do that. Again, just playing around with that margin. If I want an inch margin, it's basically give me some white space or some free space around the edge of my document. Again, inserting images can really make your documents come alive.